In this tutorial, I will show you the basics of viewing data log files in Toolkit. Toolkit supports several data log file formats, including files created with Toolkit and other tools, as well as data log files created on the control system. To open a data log file, click the Tools ribbon menu, then click the Data Log button. Select the desired file and click Open. The Data Log Properties window is displayed, to allow you to set the properties of the chart and where data log parameters can be selected for viewing in the chart. The title of the data log window and the default time span of the chart can be edited in the top section of the window. The data log file info can be found in the middle part of the window. Available data log parameters can be viewed in a tree view listing or can be viewed in a flat list. If the data log file supports labels, then the labels are displayed in the list, otherwise the parameter name is used. To make finding a parameter easier, you can utilize the search box. I will use the search box to find a few parameters. The search box will search both the label and the parameter name columns for a match. To add a parameter, you can first select the parameter, then click the Add Selected button. You can also double-click the parameter or click and drag to add parameters. To add multiple parameters at once, hold the Control key down while selecting the parameters, then add them with one of the supported methods. Once added, the parameters are listed in the plots listing. Select a plot, then the plot's properties can be set using the plot properties grid. To change the properties of several plots at once, hold the control key down while selecting the plots. The order of the plots can be modified by using the buttons below the plot listing. The plots can be sorted by clicking on the desired column in the plot listing. Click the close button to view the chart window. To reopen the properties window, click the properties button on the ribbon. Alternatively, you can double-click on the legend to open the Properties window. The Data Log Viewer window has three sections. The Ribbon Menu, the Chart Surface, and the Chart Legend. The Ribbon Menu allows you to merge or overlay additional data log files, save the data log options, or perform zoom functions on the chart. The data in the chart can be exported to other file formats by clicking the Export button. The chart surface shows a two-dimensional graphical display of the chart's data and allows you to manipulate the chart's zoom level and chart cursors. The chart legend shows more details about the data of each plot. Some columns of the legend can be changed directly in the legend without opening the properties window. For instance, I can change the bold, name, and scale properties in the legend. I can also change the order, width, and visibility of the columns on the legend. To change the order, click and drag the desired column to the new location. To change the width, click and drag on the column separator. To change the visibility, right-click on any column header, then click the desired column to toggle the visibility on. The chart area of the data log viewer is made up of the chart surface, the horizontal scale, the vertical scale, and the scroll bar. Cursors on the chart can be used to find a specific point's value on the chart. You can also click and drag on the labels of the horizontal scale. To move the cursors, simply click on the far right or left edges of the chart and drag the mouse. As I move the cursors, you can see that the data on the legend changes and coincides with the position of the cursors. The keyboard can also be used to move the cursors. 
Use the left and right arrow keys to move the left cursor. Hold the Alt key while using the arrow keys for fine adjustment. Hold the Shift key down while using the arrow keys to move the right cursor. The scroll bar can be used to zoom or pan the chart. I can click and drag the mouse on either of the scroll bar handles to change the viewing position of the chart view. If I click between the scroll bar handles, I can move the viewing position. I can also change the zoom level of the chart using the ribbon buttons, or by clicking and dragging on the chart view area. I can pan the chart, by right-clicking on the chart area and dragging. To save the current state of the chart, including the plot properties, chart position, and zoom level, click the Save Options ribbon button. Type a name for the file, then click Save. I will now close the data log view, then open the options file, to demonstrate how the chart is restored to its previous condition. This concludes the tutorial on viewing data log files in Toolkit. Watch our other tutorials for more information on merging, overlaying, zooming, and exporting data log files. Thanks for watching.